Prati Radio, this is Chiara Nicoletti from the 80th Venice International Film Festival. I'm glad to be joined by Pablo Arain, Juan de Dios Larain, a director and producer of El Conde Screening Here in Competition. Welcome and welcome back. Thank you, please. What a pleasure. Thank you very much. So I'm going to go right straight to the point. While I was watching the film, I noticed that um, Chilean are often referred to from uh, the vampire Pinochet as ungrateful. And, uh, and so I wanted to ask you if this was, you know, your way to show Chilean and us that that's what evil people do. To, they think they're, uh, they're doing things for, they make us believe they're doing things for our own good. They make us believe that, you know, you, you want to, they call the thief. You want to... Yeah, <laughs> what they do is that they see themselves, see, see themselves as saviors, exactly. as heroes as someone that, that uh, it's un illuminati, no? that is someone that has this, the grace uh, and has the virtue uh, to change the fate of a nation. Um, and, but the ungrateful angle is not really coming from himself, maybe it was, but it, it's coming from the people that supported him. Yeah. They call us, the people that don't support him, that we are ungrateful for the things he did to our country which makes it even more crazy, but yeah. Uh, I have to say that this film is very Chilean, uh, but it's also very universal. And I, I think that uh, in, ter in order to, uh, to be universal, he had to portray people in the right way. And in this case, I'm talking about women, because sometimes uh, women, uh, people talk about women as uh, often um, listen to people saying, oh, if we women were and in position of powers, there, were, there would be no worse. And that's not true. That's a very beautiful way to portray us, but we're imperfect as well. And in this case, the film shows you everybody, all nuances of being perfect and women as well. So I wanted to know if you focused on that as well in order to have the, the, the film, the more universal as possible. Well, the universality is, uh, is achieved to uh, human uh, emotions and, and humans' um, perception of reality, human pain, and about, in this case, with history, also in the way that the film is shot, in the way that we, that, that we tell the story. We, sometimes in these films, there are things that Chileans know, but we go and tell that story part of the story that maybe we know in Chile in order to conquer the, that idea of universality or to try to do it. Um, and speaking about the genders, I think that, yeah, I agree. I'm with you. And like everyone has fragilities. And, and, and I think that it's, it's good to show that. It's good to show um, how vulnerable we all are. Um, um, and that's probably the most universal thing you can think about. Juan, in terms of production, what were the, the biggest challenges of finding the right genre? I, I, I agree that the, the vampire, you know, allegory was uh, the right thing to do, but in terms of production, uh, what were the challenges? Well, you know, um, our company is turning 20 years this mm -hmm. year, so it's an important birthday. And this is uh, Paolo's 10th film, and I have produced uh, all of them. Uh, that's been a great pleasure. And I think in, in, in this case, um, we assemble an amazing cast and crew. Our hero departments are so great. So I, I, I don't think that the, um, the achievement is on the production do side, although the movie is so well executed and looks amazing. I, I, I think that the, the hardest part of the film uh, was uh, for Paolo to understand how something very serious could be taken with humor, how you can approach um, a subject that has caused a lot of pain to many, many people and make fun of it in the good way. And, and that tone, that limit, is something very hard to settle. Um, and I believe that for Paul it was, uh, was very hard and, and in how, somehow for everybody trying to, to help and to create a conversation um, to, to have him uh, very secure in order to, to achieve uh, uh, El Conde. And, and I think um, 
in the end, the, the experience was amazing. Let's see what the audience will say. But so far, what we have here, it's uh, it's something very positive because um, uh, although uh, it, it has a lot of fun, I think uh, in the end, there's a very clear message on what kind of things should never happen again. And if the movie is able to create a conversation about that, then it means that uh, we're doing the right thing. One last thing. How, how did you work together? I were uh, were there any disagreements uh, between you two, especially for the for this film? That <laughs> well, sometimes we have, sometimes you have. Not just in this film, we have a a company that produced uh, to, to many other directors. We do television and and cinema. Um, but the way that we well, he can speak for himself, by the way. But the way that I think that we fix most of our differences is that we do very different things. Um, we're not usually taking the same decisions, and uh, sometimes we have disagreements, but uh, wh whoever is closer to that project, you would usually have the best way to deal with it. Yeah, I think uh, we, mm, we connect with the other when, when you need the other, and, and sometimes you need more, sometimes less, um, and in this case, um, I think we, we and, and myself were like backers of conversations and and of course on the on the production side um, uh, it was uh, something mutual but um, in this case um, it was a, a pleasure to do it and I don't think we we had um, big fights of course sometimes we fight it's um, if you have partners of a company for 20 years and it doesn't happen then you have a problem we throw vanilla cakes to each other <laughs> only vanilla no chocolate thank you <laughs> Thank you so much Thank for you. Larain, Grazie for mille. Dios Larain, for El Contest being here in competition at the 80th. No, that is international Thank you, Festival. Fred, for the constant Grazie. support uh, of cinema. I thank know. you, Fabio, for your films Please. and for always Thank being you. Here. Have a good day. You're always welcome. So. And this is Chiara Nicoletti Grazie. for Fred, the Festival Insider.